It's a brand new season, brand new feeling, and the Bobcats painted it green and white in the opener. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Welcome inside the Convocation Center. This is where we do these, our broadcast position. Ohio wins at 85-75 over Florida Gulf Coast. All in all, pretty good for the opener with really a restocked, reloaded, brand new team. Yeah, you know, two high major transfers, obviously, but a Wadley Mom Premier plays uh, plays one of the games of his life, absolutely, and is our player of the game in this one. But all in all, a good effort for Ohio. Led almost stem to stern in this one. Took a couple punches, counter punch, and wins big this afternoon. Yeah, Ohio led for around 36 minutes in the contest. The biggest lead was close to uh, 16. Actually, it was 15 points. Ohio led at halftime 43-36. Wadley Mom Premier. The Miami native, by the way, had sub-40 points and rebounds in two years combined coming into this one. In this one, he had 12 and 12. Uh, that's a double-double. Yeah, it really is. 12 and 12 in just 20 minutes of play. Antonio Campbell off the floor with foul trouble. Big chunks this game, and Ohio got away with it. Wadley played great. Jerron Simmons played well, and Kenny Kaminsky, he played as well. Yeah, Jerron and Kenny, the highly touted Division I transfers. Jerron, the point guard from Houston, and Kenny really a do-it-all sort of guy from long range but doesn't want to be typecast as just a shooter from Michigan State. Both of those guys were in double figures, and Jerron looked pretty good running the offense. Yeah, played great and really drove the offense, got to the line a ton, and essentially over the course of the game fouled out both. That's both the Florida Gulf Coast point guards. Really just trying to feel the system out, new combinations out, read and react to what worked best on the floor, and it all worked well as Ohio won in the opener over FGCU. Here's how it looked and sounded at the Roundhouse on Richland. Logo low bounce now to Campbell, who goes up, had it partially blocked by the rim and a double team. Saved by Setti, leaves it low to Tone Wade. And it's never really an injury that's going to get better. Back problems for Kyrie. Simmons at the top into the post. Campbell, right hand hook. Yes, sir. Kaminsky gets it over to the left wing to Simmons. Jumps up a three. No good. And a bang in. A bang. And there's Mark Stickle. And he sets a screen for Simmons, who spins into the paint. Leaves it for Wadley, who dunks it home with two hands. Hello, Wadley. Good to meet you. 13-4. Cats on top by nine. On the left side, it's Simmons. Now to Kaminsky at the point for three. Bang, you could tell from the release it was going down. And the first for Kenny Kaminsky. Can use either hand at the rim. Ton of experience, overaged fifth year player. Simmons into the post now. It's Campbell, reverse layup underneath the 10, and he got it. Had a little word for FGCU's Simmons. 19-18, Ohio with the lead. Off of the inbound, it's Campbell, pocket left for three. Bang, for Tone. And Ohio's on top 22 to 18. That's a third bay three of the ball game for the Cats. Yep, five in a row for Tony. He's the offense right now. Opening day at the Convocation Center, back on the air Monday night against Tennessee State. Driving to the goal, it's Tucker. Had the ball swatted away by Taylor out of bounds. Curls around three defenders. Corner right, Gavin blocked for three. No, strong rebound, Lester. Yes, sir. Low on the right side. Now to Kaminsky at the second O in Arched, Ohio. He'll shoot from deep. Back iron, no good. Mount Premier soared over Simmons for the board. Waits for two to go by, and he laid it in. Court awareness from Wadley Mont Premier. He's like a brand new guy, and now... They threw it down the floor, but the player wasn't ready for it for FTCU. It's thrown away by Seti. A little show and go, and he laid it in. The foul line now, it's Mont Premier. A lot of dribbling. Gives it off to Kaminsky, who slashes to the Mac logo. Right hand teardrop, yes. Tony got the rebound, playing with three. Ohio with the three on three break. Seti into the front court layup. Yes! Cut it in a foul. Trey Seti with a little strength, getting low on the right. Mike Laster, left hand dribble into the paint. Left side, Harley for three. Bang! For Kyrie Harley. Kaminsky left wing for three. Nope, strong. Rebound, Mont Premier against two. Holds it high, hands it off to Kaminsky. One dribble against three. Reverse layup, yes. Oh, that was pretty. That was really nice. Strong, Wadley on the rebound. Lost the ball, got it back. Low on the right, Kaminsky cuts in the lane. Right hand teardrop, yes, sir. Simmons point right for the catch. Flashing to the lane, it's Campbell. One dribble, now to Setti. Reverse layup, yes. Also on the stat sheet, worth mentioning the very nice performance by Mike Laster. He had eight points, but really his work on the defensive end was pretty good, too. Yeah, and he was locked up man-to-man -man with DeBose, probably the second-best scorer on that Florida Gulf Coast team. What he did in the second half kept them from getting much closer. Mike Laster played big minutes today, 28 off the bench. Yeah, it's interesting to see where the freshmen are going to fit in here. All five of them did play, not eye-popping numbers off of the stat sheets, but they... 
they really didn't hurt you when they were on the floor because they're going to have to play minutes. Yeah, you blended them in. You saw good minutes out of Dardis and, and Taylor especially. I think Ohio, if they need that third or fourth big, Taylor could end up being that guy later in the season. So Tennessee State comes to town on Monday night. They have a new head coach, Dana Ford, taking over there. They're out of Nashville. They're in the OVC. They're picked near the bottom of that league. They had five wins last year. This is a ball game that you have to look at and say, all right, we should be 2-0 and at the end of this, but it's how they play in Monday uh, and in the ball game that's going to make all the difference as to progressing further in the season. Yeah, clearly some major transfers there. Top Juco power forward. There's a lot going on there, and obviously it's early season. Anything can happen. Ohio needs to get well and get things a little better in the condo after last year. All in all, good work, huh? Really good day. All right, basketball then on Monday, and then football on Tuesday as Ohio takes on Ball State. All grins at the Roundhouse on Richland. 85-75, the final score over Florida Gulf Coast. Thanks to Jason Chapino for his good work. He's new here, but he's an Ohio alum, and so we welcome him with open arms. He takes over as the multimedia director in our athletic department. And he knows where to find everything already. He's doing a great job. So are you, Rob. Thanks, Russ. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Good night from the Convo. This is Bobcat TV.